All right then my friends, so now we've created our very first Nuxt 3 application and we wanna deploy it to the web to show everyone, even though it's completely crap. So let's now deploy it to Netlify. And to do that, you're gonna need a free Netlify account. So sign up for one of those. I've already got one, so I'm gonna log in using GitHub. And once we've done that, we basically need to allow Netlify to go to our GitHub repository where we're gonna deploy the application to and pull it from there. So first of all, we need to get our project deployed to GitHub in a repository. So create a brand new repository, give it a name. I'm gonna call it Nuxt Dojo, like so. Doesn't need a description. I'm gonna make it private. It can be public, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then we can skip all this, blah, 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 blah. Create repository. So it's gonna create this blank repository first of all, right? And basically what we wanna do now is we want to add this as the origin to our repository on the front end. First of all, we need to make that repository in our project directory. We wanna add this as the origin right here, this thing, so copy that. And then we're basically gonna push up the main branch. We're gonna make a commit and push up the main branch. So what you wanna do basically if you want is just copy all of this, paste it in Notepad or something, and then open up your text editor. All right then, so you can see in our project, we already have this git ignore file right here, and it's gonna ignore things like node modules, the Nuxt folder, env, etc. So that's good, but it's not currently a git repository. Now, I've already initialized this as a git repository, but for you, it won't be. So you need to type git in it. For me, it's just gonna reinitialize it, and that will create that git repository for you. And by the way, you need git installed on your computer for this to work. So if you've not got that installed, make sure you install it first of all. And then what you want to do is say git add, like so to add everything to the staging area. Then we're gonna commit that. So git commit M and we'll just say first commit like so. And then I wanna clear this to give me some room. Then we need to add the remote origin. So we'll say git remote add origin. I'm gonna paste in that um, address right here to our git repository and press enter. And then we wanna push up the main branch. So if I type git status, we can see right here, we're on the master branch, right? So I can just say git push origin master if I wanted to. Or you can rename it main if you prefer as well. So I'm gonna push that up and hopefully we should now see that in GitHub. Okay, so now on GitHub in the repo, you should see your project. You might need to refresh, but we've uploaded that branch now and you can see there's an absence of the environment variables file, which is good because that was in the git ignore file. And that means that anyone viewing this repository can't see our private key, which is what we want, right? So we need to specify that private key later in Netlify. But first of all, what we want Netlify to do is essentially reach into this repository, bring in all of the project code to Netlify and then deploy it on Netlify. So let's do that over here, go back to Netlify, and we want to import from Git, right? So let's do that. So GitHub is what we're using. You just have to basically allow Netlify into your GitHub accounts. And I'm gonna search for Nuxt Dojo right here. So Nuxt hyphen Dojo, I think that's what I called it, press enter. And uh, fingers crossed, it should be here. Yep, this is the one. All right, so owner, Sean's team, this is the branch we're gonna deploy. Um, we don't need to change any of this. If you go to show advanced, you can add some environment variables. Now we need to do that because we have that private API key. So go to new variable, and I think this was called currency underscore API underscore key, and I'm gonna paste it in, this value, right? can see that right here. By the way, don't try and use this one. It's not gonna be working by the time I release this video, it will be deleted. But now adding that environment variable anyway, um, we can go down here now to deploy the site. So click on that and then it's probably just gonna take maybe one or two minutes um, and then it will be deployed. Okay, so at some point this will complete and if you refresh, then you should see that it's completed right here and we have a link to the application, mine's done. So I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna cross my fingers, hope this works. I'm gonna zoom in as well. All seems to be working here. If we go to products, then we can see we're still fetching in the data. The details is working as well. Now, if we go to the homepage and then go to about, we should see this response right here as well, which proves that that private key, the environment variable we set up in Netlify is working as well. Awesome. 
So then my friends, that is it, we've done. We've created our Nuxt application and we've deployed it to Netlify. And that's the end of this series. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I will be making more Nuxt 3 courses in the future. So definitely keep your eyes peeled for those. So then my friends, I really, really hope you enjoyed this series and you learned something along the way. If you did, please, please, please don't forget to share, subscribe and like. That really means a lot. And if you want to access all of my YouTube courses without adverts, also get access to premium courses and early access courses as well, you can do at netninja.dev. You can sign up for NetNinja Pro, which is just $9 a month and also half price for the first month with this promo code right here and for that like i said you get access to every course without adverts without youtube adverts you also get access to exclusive courses not found anywhere else you get access to my premium courses on udemy and also early access to all of my youtube courses as well so the link to this page to sign up is going to be down below again i really hope you enjoyed this series and i'm going to see you in the very next one